looky, looky, there it is, right where it's supposed to be. A monarch butterfly egg on this milkweed plant. It's a larval host for monarch butterflies. Welcome back to Deb's Big Backyard. I'm Deb, and I'm heading over to see Stephanie Wolquist. She knows a lot about butterflies, species, their cycles, and especially butterfly gardening. She said that she has some red admirals and some question marks hanging around her elm tree, and she's been on an egg hunt lately. I'd like to join in. Come along. Hi, Stephanie. It's Deb. I'm here for my egg hunt. Hi, Deb. How are you? Good. 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 What are you up to? Well, right now, um, right at the end of the, um, the progression from egg through caterpillar to the adult. Yeah. Um, so we've got a monarch here that we're ready to release. A monarch. Wow. Yes. So we get very lucky. Yeah. And so this one's ready to go. Yeah. And I think it's a female. I didn't see the black spots on the hind, on the hind wings. So okay. This one. So I'm just going to try to encourage it to come on out and then... Wow, there it so, goes. Look yeah, at that. There we go. There we right, go. There we Whoa! Go. <laughs> Goodbye, little butterfly! There we go. And so he'll... Don't go in the house over there. He'll just settle down for a little bit. Wow. So, yeah. So he'll hang around for about a day and then... Yeah. That is really cool. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Well, I was just working tree. with my milkweed plants looking at those eggs. So that was like a fast motion from what I just saw. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, so a lot of people like to know how to raise um, butterflies. To raise um, butterflies, it's pretty simple, but you've got to have some basic equipment. Um, mm -hmm. And the reason I do raise the butterflies is because there's a, such a high mortality rate. Uh, yeah. Predation happens at basically any part of the stage. So mm -hmm. eggs are very vulnerable to, to eggs and other kinds of um, predators. When they become caterpillars, um, smaller the caterpillar the more you know different kinds of predators larger mm -hmm. caterpillars usually birds um, right. maybe some wasp and they, even, even when they're in the chrysalis they're still subject to predation yes. um, so I, I've read a statistics it's about one percent of eggs that get laid will make it to the butterfly stage wow. let's focus on the monarch that we just released with the milkweed generally yeah. she'll lay her eggs um, on the underside of milkweed so finding the eggs can be kind of tricky. It helps if you can see the female laying yeah, her yeah. eggs. If you ever see a butterfly just on green, something green, yeah. that's a pretty good indication that she's laying her eggs. Really? So, yeah, because she's not yeah. nectaring on just greens. So anyway, so she comes in, she'll lay, she'll test it, I think I see it, and she'll test it to make sure it's milkweed. Yeah. And so you can kind of see under here is the that's egg. Right. So the warmer it is, the faster it'll develop, probably about four or five days. Mm. So anyway, so I just keep it in here. I'll just make sure it doesn't wilt. So, so what will happen is that those caterpillars then will eat those leaves and then they'll do their chrysalis inside. Eventually, yep. So the important thing, there's two really important things that you have to do, is you want to make sure, I keep paper towels so I can change that out and clean the cage. Yes. Um, because it could be diseases and you know, things like that. So just you know, keep like a baby, basically lots of food and keep <laughs> them clean. So yeah. get rid of the paper towels, clean out the frass which is mm -hmm. a fancy word for caterpillar poop. They'll usually come to the top and they'll pupate up there. Yeah. And then they'll hang there for um, 10 days, 14 days, depends. And you can tell when they're ready to come out because the, the chrysalis kind of gets more transparent. They get the wings, you can start to see the color of the wings. Um, and then you know it's ready to come and usually come out early morning and hang for okay. a while. And then um, I take their cues from them about when to release them. Mm -hmm. And they start fluttering around and they're moving. They look like they're ready to go. Then yeah. I let them go. So we talked about from egg to the the caterpillar mm -hmm. to the the to the other phases to the butterfly. Uh -huh. How long does that take? So all told, from egg to the butterfly, about a month. Another easy good starter butterfly is yeah. the black swallowtail. That probably is even more of a starter than even the monarch I should say because everybody grows, well not everybody, most people grow dill and parsley and fennel mm -hmm. and they always say we well, got these worms, he's like these worms and they're, they're black swallowtail <laughs> caterpillars. Oh. Um, so that is a really good thing, people plant parsley or dill just for the black swallowtail. I have some teeny tiny little question mark caterpillars. Okay. I have the egg cases, they didn't eat the egg cases. Okay. Which a lot of times caterpillars will. Now these guys, oh, wow. okay, so there's two that are just hatchlings. I'm not going to leave this out for very long. So that's a question mark then. That's a question mark. Just to show you too, I have a couple, I have a chrysalis of the question mark. And they're really pretty. That's a red admiral caterpillar. Oh, I, the other I one I came to see. They're really, this kind of version is really pretty. Host plants are very important. Butterflies and a lot of moths, they can't just eat any plant. They have to have very specific plants. I know what host plants are okay. and what nectar plants mm -hmm. are, but some 
folks may think it, that the host plants are throwing a party or something. Right. You know? yeah. so, <laughs> so what does that what does that mean if you could just give a few of, like for example I came over here to see red admirals yep. and question marks. So okay. what does a host plant mean for them? That is that's something that not a lot of people know. We, I get I think we all kind of grow up with this idea that a caterpillar will eat any plant, and mm -hmm. that's just not the case. So um, plants don't want to be eaten. They have all kinds of defenses in their arsenal, chemical defenses. Mm -hmm. So um, caterpillars, they have evolved to overcome those defenses. So for instance, the monarch is very famous for overcoming the defenses of a milkweed, right. of eating the poisons and actually using the poisons in its body. So a lot of um, caterpillars and butterflies do that. So for instance, as you said, the red admiral, it can only eat in this certain family. So mm -hmm. in our area, we have lots of pellitory. So that's mm -hmm. what the female will lay her eggs on because that's the only thing her caterpillar can eat. It can okay. also eat false nettles. Um, okay. So once you have an idea of the butterflies that are in the area, ones that might come in, then you can learn about their host plants and then that will definitely bring in the female and she can detect the plant they have all kinds of olfactory sensors yeah. um, so that they can follow the scent so to speak and okay. then get to that host plant and then they taste the host plant with their feet to make sure it is the one one of my favorite butterflies are the American ladies and mm -hmm. if you get their host plant they will come in and so this is a really it's a low growing slow spreading little plant and it's called um, prairie pussy toes oh um, and you can see there's all leftover nests here so they she'll lay eggs because there's not enough people planting this <laughs> so yeah, yeah. truly all our eggs here um, but out front which I'll show later there's prairie sage which mm -hmm. they will you can transfer them on you can get them to eat that so they okay. will eat that and complete their life cycle everybody a lot of people have cone flowers and they're supposed to be a host plant for uh, checker spot butterflies I haven't seen any but that doesn't mean they won't come or they haven't been here so mm -hmm. it's just another good reason to have purple cone flower okay. or even black-eyed Susans too um, mm -hmm. they're in that same family and sunflowers checker spot so kind of have the bases covered so if a checker yes. spot does come <laughs> uh, we got plenty to choose from this is Malvin neglecta, that common mallow that we oh. get as a weed. Yes, and it's a yes. host plant for the painted lady. I gotta get down a little bit further yeah, and take a look so, at that. Yeah. Oh, I, I have okay. Never, I have there never you go. raised painted ladies, but yeah. apparently it's on their host plant. So I keep one in. You uh -huh. know, I just let it be in there. You can't really notice it. Yeah. Butterfly weed we of talked course. about for the monarch. So what is this? So what? this is the prairie sage that I was mentioning that I switched the American ladies to because I the I don't the mer the Pussy toes just grow too slowly and I don't have enough to feed all the, the American lady caterpillars. So this works really well and they will eat it. And mm -hmm. I just clip it and I put it into the container with the water. Mm -hmm. um, so, and I've actually seen some nests on it. So I think the female has just laid her eggs on it. A lot of people think butterflies are pretty mm -hmm. and they don't really understand why they're important. Why are they important? Well, they're also, uh, marginal pollinator too, so they're also mm -hmm. they also help to pollinate the flowers, and they're going from, you know, um, flower to flower. They're accidentally picking up pollen and yes. moving it to the next um, uh, flower. So they're important in that way. Important for the food web as well. Feeding the birds, we like birds, especially the migrating birds. Mm -hmm. um, I was just reading a book um, by Doug Talamy that um, uh, chickadees, little chickadees, they feed six thousand to ten thousand caterpillars to their young over a 16 day period. So that's a lot of caterpillars. So the more caterpillars, the more interesting birds will have as well. So they're, they're, they're important. They're nice to look at, they're pollinators, um, and they feed the food web as well. Back in my big backyard, over the last two growing seasons, I've been radically changing my ecosystem to bump up the biodiversity. Because last year I didn't have many butterflies especially monarchs like a lot of us. I did get the bees and the birds though. After spending an afternoon with Stephanie, I now do understand the life cycle of a butterfly, especially a monarch. And I know that those eggs back there on those milkweed plants, in about a month, they're gonna be monarchs that'll be flitting through my backyard. I'm excited about that. You know what? It's time to beat it. So this is Deb. This is my big backyard at home. See you next time.